very powerful position. However, if I'm in a chase scene and I'm running away from people and my director brings me down center, suddenly I become very vulnerable. Right, because I can't see the person, you know, coming at me with the knife. <laughs> so vulnerable and strong. To me, those words have a great deal of companionship because I think it takes a lot of strength for an actor and essentially a character too to be willing to be vulnerable, right? Many people don't even place themselves in a position to be vulnerable because they're like, no, 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 I don't want to do that, right? Um, and it has a very intense feeling because of the close proximity between the actor and the audience. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Any other questions about this? So you will map the areas, and then, for example, you might pick down center and down stage left, and you'll write two of the adjectives. Yeah? Questions? Yeah. So regarding the upstage right, mm -hmm. I don't understand like how it can be like romantic for myself. Like I get distant, but like soft and romantic. Like how does it usually? So a lot of it is in the uh, addition of design elements mm -hmm. to, to tell that story. Um, and again, it's not like, you know, you're always gonna feel this way, right? It was just a theory towards if we tell stories, certain types of stories in this area, if I put my young lovers always on stage right and I put my villains on stage left, does that enhance your perception of the story? And do you then like strongly associate me with a certain area? And so then this becomes like where the bad people are. Does that make sense? I don't know that I agree with all of them, but I see where it's going. Mm -hmm. Of course. And I don't know that I do either. I just think it's interesting to look at yeah. space mm -hmm. and to think that you could apply a certain mood just based on arrangement. Yeah. yeah. And, and this doesn't work in the round, it doesn't work in a thrust, again, because the kind of ratio to actor audience space is very different. Yeah. Um, I'm actually looking at this and going back to, I'm thinking back to my high school productions and like I can see where, um, I, I think my director knew about this particular theory yeah. because like there were certain scenes where we'd be, uh, We'd be positioned in certain parts of the stage, and like right. those, the moods of what, the, like the context, definitely match these things. All except for the fact the part where um, we were doing Jungle Book, he was uh, Shere Khan coming up, like just appearing in upstage right, which is. But not but I think more so what it helps to do is if you consistently have a certain character or characters or specific action happening in a space over and over again then that space becomes, takes on that mood of the story that's being told in that area. Yeah. I think that's maybe more. That's fair. Right. Human's brains are very impressionable. Yeah. Very adaptable. For sure, yeah. When I was um, in, I would say, uh, my high school, um, we did My Fair Lady and I had two roles. One was a flower, uh, a young, uh, not a flower girl, uh, a uh, older man. We were by a fake fire warming our hands and I was, Eliza Doolittle was coming out of doc, Dr. Higgins' uh, house and I had, my line was like, a lady like you shouldn't be out this late at night, ma'am, or something like that. And I was warming my hands as doing so and I was down center of stage, kind of almost down left and she was asking where, if, I forget what she was doing, but um, she was having a tech, I don't know what, but I, it was like really like there and, and I, it was really fun. Yeah, yeah. it's just, it's interesting. It's creating a mood, you know. you go and observe things if you notice things like that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Woo. Woo